Hello everyone, my name is Neil Pisa and I'm the CEO and founder of FX Animation Studios here in Mozambique. For the past 18 years, we've been serving the local market doing TV commercials and public service announcement videos. Throughout the years, we've noticed that we've been consuming mostly international content and we felt that we needed to tell our own stories and create our own characters. So that's why we created Uspestinhas, or in English, The Troublemakers, back in 2010. Uspestinhas is a project that comprises of several parts. We aim to create shorts, PSAs, comic books and even full-length features. The project follows the lives of three kids led by Lily. It's mostly about their adventures and their day-to-day -day life as they encounter interesting and sometimes funny situations and how they overcome and solve problems. Our current project is an animated feature film that goes in depth to explain where Lily comes from, the secrets her family is hiding from her, how important family and friendship is, and how far she's willing to go to save the people she loves. We have been able to complete two shorts, a few short stories in comic book format, and even a few PSAs. And now we're finally ready to produce our very first animation feature film. We are a very, very small team, so we are always looking for the most affordable way to work. And wanting to be updated when it comes to software and hardware has always been our main concern. Up until the year 2019 to 2020, we had been using 3ds Max as our main animation tool. But since licensing changes, we decided to start looking for other alternatives. And that's when we started learning Blender, which was, it, which was evolving at a very uh, amazing pace back then. Right about the same time, we also learned about Reillusion Suite of softwares. And I'm talking about Character Creator, iClone, and 3D Exchange, and how they work seamlessly with Unreal Engine. So we started using a workflow that comprised mainly of Character Creator and Blender, with iClone 7 being mostly as a bridge to port mocap animations to Blender. Our latest project for the feature film is an example of that. We, will we would create the models of our character in Character Creator and then rig them up in Blender with AutoRig Pro and then finish everything up in Unreal Engine. However, in mid-production of the trailer, we were invited to be part of the beta test team for the, for the new iPhone 8. I don't even know how to begin explaining the improvements that this new, that this new version has over iPhone 7. We decided to continue animating for the trailer in iPhone 8, even though it was still in beta and finishing up the shots in Blender, but that was mostly because we still feel Blender has a more robust tool set to handle morph targets and shape keys. We needed to add corrective shape keys to the characters. So we've decided that we'll be using iClone 8 for the rest of the project and most likely for our future clients as well. One of the most useful features is the integration of 3D Exchange onto iClone 8. I mean, the ability to simply drag and drop FBX to a custom character and having the animation simply work, it's crazy. This is something that, that, that was not very difficult to do in Blender but it's much, much easier and faster to do it in iClone. And honestly, every click saved my fingers appreciate. So one of the reasons we didn't adopt IC7 before was the fact that it was basically locked at working at 60 FPS and we could not configure our own short keys. And in our case, coming already from 3ds Max or Blender, this was kind of a bummer because it meant that we had to relearn navigation and adopt a new workflow yet again. This is not the case anymore with Icon 8. With it, you can just start animating and create our stories. We don't have that language barrier anymore. Whether you're coming from Maya, Blender, or 3ds Max, you can really feel at home, you know? The ability to just drag a clip to make it continuous without reference objects, it's also an essential feature, especially for creators that have mocap systems that are restricted by the space they're in. I also love how the reach effectors work and how the transition features between IK and FK is super intuitive. iClone also has a great set of tools to help animating by hand. 
the sequence that you see now was all keyframe animation based off of references. We still haven't had the chance to explore the rest of the features like Motion Director, which allows you to really animate a character as if you were playing a game. I imagine this would help a ton with background characters and you know NPCs. I'm pretty sure we're going to have the chance to implement these new features throughout the project as we still have a ton of shots to complete. I hope to keep everyone updated on our progress. I want to thank Reillusion for the dedication on the new tools and also Epic Games as we are also proud receivers of the Epic Mega Grants grant. It allowed us to at least be able to pay actors to work with us and get some much needed assets from their marketplace to help speed up the project. We have also teamed up with another production house called Ikaya Productions. They are an amazing group of professionals with the main service being sound design and music. We've reached out to them to see if they were interested in collaborating on this exciting project with us and they immediately jumped on board. They will be in charge of all the sound for the movie. So I'd like to say thank you to Johnny Schwalbach and his team for believing in this project as much as we do. This is an exciting time for us. Mozambique isn't known for animation production and we hope we can change that scenario as this project will be the first animated feature of the country's history. And what's even more important, it will be made locally with local talent and local actors. So thank you all for watching this video and thank you all who supported us this far. Please do enjoy the trailer. I know nothing about my parents, nothing. She always says one day she'll tell me everything. When the time is right, she says. <laughs> what? Oh, you serious? 